Hi, uh, my name is Gara de Beer and uh, I do track and field. I'm a discus thrower and then I play football. Let's see, I'm a first semester junior right now. I went to a uh, university for six months in South Africa prior to coming here, so I was a transfer student. Um, track wise, I have two years of eligibility left, including this season. And football wise, I have three years left, next, uh, including the um, it's it's difficult because uh, you know spring ball, for example, interferes with uh, uh, track and field season. So, say for example, when it comes to uh, uh, spring ball practices, I can only practice once a week, and then also because of doing uh, track season, I can't do uh, a lot of contact. So. All the, all the individual work I can do, but when it comes to the team periods where you actually show what you've learned and apply that practically, um, I can't do that. You know, so um, it's it's definitely a challenge because I I want to want to be a great football player at the same time, but it's just difficult balancing what you can't have for the, uh, the best of both worlds. You know? Most difficult thing I think. Um, Time management is not that hard. I think the most difficult is doing uh, your reaching your full potential at, at everything that you do. You know, because if you say, for example, schoolwork, you can't reach your full potential in schoolwork. Do um, you, uh, you do two sports as well. You know, and uh, I wish I was able to. I mean, I think if I did two sports, for example, I mean one sport, I think it would be easier to reach my full potential in school and one sport. But, uh, it's very limited when it comes to doing two sports, trying to balance that and your schoolwork as well. Let's see. Uh, Academic-wise, the the support is unbelievable. You know, we um, we can buy our textbooks for free, which is fantastic. Uh, the academic help is there if you need a tutor session, if you're struggling in a subject. Um, there's there's always help. You know, they they will find somebody to help you. I can always go to the academic advisors and. Just the on-campus resources like uh, Think Tank, Flex Labs, and all those type of things. Uh, Academic-wise, uh, the resources are almost unlimited. The problem comes uh, when it interferes with practice times and things like that. Many office hours I just cannot go to just because of, uh, uh, of the sports, and I can't really meet outside of that too because I don't want, uh, I, I don't, I, I don't feel like it's fair to ask him. Professor, you know, to stay until eight at night until I'm eventually done with daily things. So, um, but academic-wise, there is unlimited resources. They they go to the furthest extent to make sure that you get the best academic experience possible. In the fall, it's a lot. Um, I guess I'm on campus a lot more. Some mornings I would leave my my apartment. 5.30 because I have a 6, 6 a.m. lift and then I only come back the night at 7 or 8 depending on the day. So uh, yes, the, it varies a lot because in-season football uh, requires a lot more time than out-of-season and then also I have to still do track practice in-season football and out-of-season uh, football I do track practice even more. So. Yes, you are only allowed by NCAA rules to have 20 hours of practice. This includes uh, meeting time with the coaches, um, dressing, getting ready, and all those things are, are excluded. So only meeting with the coaches and um, actual practice count towards hours. So say, for example, on a Tuesday, um, at a time I was limited to hours, I wasn't allowed to meet because I would do a lift at 6 a.m., which is an hour and a half. And then I would uh, then practice in the afternoon, it's two and a half hours. And you're also only allowed four hours a day max. 20 hours a week, four hours a day max. Personally, especially because I'm doing two sports, I've seen both sides of it. I've seen a sport that gets funded a lot, aka football. And then I've seen, I'm oh, sorry, AE, IE football, not AK. Um, and then I've also seen the other side, sports struggling with funds, i.e. track and field, where, for example, if uh, your cleats are worn out here, you can just ask for a new pair of your, 
where you practice gears and tears or your game gears or something like that, you know, you can just ask for a new one and they're able to provide it. Over a track and field, if you lose your, um, your competition gear now, um, well, if it tears, that's something different, you know, but if, if it were your responsibility and you lost it, then you would have to pay for it yourself because uh, funds are a little tighter over on that side. So, a lot of people say, um, I have to work this many hours every day just to sustain myself. But being a student athlete, yes, you are um, spoiled. I'm not disagreeing with that, but it's a full-time job on its own and it's stressful too. It has its own downfalls and it does take a, uh, an emotional toll on somebody. But um, it is what it is. Everybody signs up for it. The doors are always open from the inside. You can always walk out. It, it all depends on what the professional federations want. If the NFL says, screw it, everybody has to be here for four years, then, well, the colleges have to adapt, you know. Uh, that's not up to us. That is up to the professional federations and what they want. If the NBA says, well, you don't have to go to college anymore, like with baseball, like baseball does, you know, you can get drafted to a major league team right out of high school if you're really, really good. Um, then you have absolutely no education. For me, I think it's great that they... Especially football, it requires at least three years. Um, so you can still get some kind of education. And I think um, most people, um, well, there are some guys that are really good, like Kadeem Carey, for example, left his junior year. Um, but there are some guys that stay actually until the senior year and then actually graduate, get a degree, you know. So um, Coach Rich Rodriguez, he's, he's, he can't stretch us enough. He always says, make sure you, you're learning something. Go to class. We have a no miss class uh, policy, which means you can only miss three classes for emergency situations. If you miss more than that, um, you um, uh, you miss ten percent of the season. You know, and I and I really like that because it makes sure that you know nobody gets benefited. You don't you don't skip class and still get an A. You, know? you still have to put in your work. There there is no such thing as um, benefited grades because every every grade I've gotten. I've heard. Or not